Here we are at LinkedIn's offices again in Hong Kong. We are doing the first episode, our first episode of a new show called 852. It's eight minutes, five questions, and two plugs, if you can get to it. Our first guest, Nathan Can, who leads the enterprise team at LinkedIn. So let's start. Flip over. Here you go, Nathan. Hey everybody, thanks Napoleon for having me. Genuinely excited to do this 852 kickoff. Great, so um, let's start with the first question. Uh, what brought you to LinkedIn, apart from the blue cushion? <laughs> Um, well, I joined LinkedIn four years ago, um, and previously to that, I was actually a headhunter for about six years. So naturally, I was using a lot of LinkedIn. Um, interestingly enough, when I was actually scouted by my first manager at LinkedIn on LinkedIn, um, I wasn't actually looking for work. Um, we kept in touch, though, as you do on LinkedIn, we spoke for about a couple months, and then inevitably, I came up to the office and I understood more about the company, the vision, uh, the values, and where it was going, and I. I remember coming into the office and thinking to myself, um, you know, I think there's something here that I should really consider. Um, and then I started looking into the company, got to know more of the team members, and I realized that this was not an opportunity to take lightly. Um, and then pretty much accepted the offer uh, shortly after. And then seriously, four years feels like, you know, a year. A time has really flown since then, and I'm pretty happy. And I don't think I'm going to be anywhere else for a while. Nice. And what's LinkedIn's a big company? So what's the um most exciting part of your job? I think just the, just a general vision. I mean, luckily for us, uh, Microsoft is now our parent company, which enables us in many ways. Um, our R&D has enhanced quite a lot. And, you know, when you look at LinkedIn, um, it traditionally is a recruitment website, uh, but now we've evolved a lot. You know, we're helping companies plan a lot better, uh, whether it just not just be about recruitment, could be about business growth, uh, could be about marketing. Uh, could be about employee engagement or learning and development. Uh, we've really kind of increased our uh, service offerings quite a bit in the last couple of years. Um, a lot more exciting stuff to come as well. Uh, but I think it's just the, the impact that we really want to change um, in the world. Um, we, we really want to make a difference. Um, we want to help not just companies, but you know, everyday guys like myself um, that are out there looking for better opportunities. Um, I think that's something that I think LinkedIn prides itself a lot with. So uh, you mentioned impact. Um, you, you know, you're a big international company, you're in different markets. What, how do you see the impact of what your company does in, in Hong Kong? How is, it, how is it changing the way that people do business or recruit or learn? Yeah. What, what, what is the impact on, our, on 852 Hong Kong? I think um, definitely one thing that I've noticed since LinkedIn has um, disrupted the industry, it's kind of come in penetrating more of the market. It's definitely bringing people together. Um, that's something that I appreciate a lot as somebody that really believes in open networking. Um, you know, companies now have outlets um, that they can use on social media, such as LinkedIn, to contact other companies. Um, and again, it's not just about recruitment. Uh, a lot of companies talk about growth or collaborations um, on, a, on a very high business level using LinkedIn. Um, that's one thing that I see that I'm very happy about. Number two, um, you know, skills are always something that is, I think, undervalued um, a bit in Hong Kong. Like, we don't really realize how, how important it is and how fast skills trends change. Um, and LinkedIn luckily has um, been in at, at the right time. We actually bought a company called Linda a couple of years ago and we've ch changed that business into LinkedIn Learning, which now equips uh, people that are looking to maybe change industry, um, people that are just looking to refine their skill sets. I mean, competition is very, very fierce nowadays in Hong Kong. And you know, Hong Kong being a top economic growth giant in the world, how do we really elevate um, and stay on par within competition? So, so are, are people here. using the the Linda? I mean, do you find that there's because uh, Hong Kong, you know, is a lot of focus on education. Right. right. I have yeah. kids. From a moment they pop out, <laughs> there, you know, you're thinking about education. So, how do you see that? Uh, that whole education, e-learning side of things is, is, do you see it being adopted very quickly in Hong Kong or are we slow to the game? I think, um, I think people are not too aware of it, if I'm honest. Um, I yeah. think it's something that most people, when they see LinkedIn, um, they still think, okay, recruitment website, yeah. uh, networking. Um, they don't really see on the backside. Again, it's our job to make it more visible and we're working yeah. on it. Um, but I think once people realize the empowerment of, of e-learning, um, it is something that would really pick up because I, you know, when we do a lot of events, recruitment is great and hiring people is great. But once they realize that learning and development is something that you can do online, um, you know, 
uh, something that's easily accessible, um, they get very, very interested. And it's something that can go a long way. It's not just about increasing your own skill sets, it's also about attrition and retention. You know, now, we've, now we're, change, we're evolving into a world where you know, companies are willing to invest in their employees. Um, LinkedIn Learning has now been incorporated into a lot of companies that they now want to... Is wanna... it free or do you pay? Or how, um, how the, well, work? the model that we um, value the highest is the ones where we do corporate plans for companies because then it's unlimited. Uh, every, by every employee within a company can have access to it. Oh, and then you can okay. also tailor programs according to businesses. It's more so it's quite flexible. Yeah, it, but okay. you can also use it as a, as a normal member as well, not by a corporate plan. So that was five questions, but was that a plug or was that a question? I don't know. So we've got, we've got two plugs, right? So <clears throat> it can be a personal plug. It can be a business plug. But tell us, you know, one plug, one thing. Uh, it could be a plug about your company, it could be a plug about anything. Give us a plug, something you want to promote. Uh, I just think, well, you know, just to kind of touch on, um, just going back a little bit on, on, on our vision, I think, you know, we, we have a narrative called Plan, Hire, Develop, um, which I think, you know, most people aren't aware of. You know, we, Napoleon and myself, we did an event actually a couple of days ago, uh, where, where 120th Web Wednesdays, and there was a lot of um, interest uh, with, you know, how companies can stay on par. Um, the plan, hire, develop narrative is really, really interesting. I'd love to speak with you guys more about it if there's interest out there. But essentially is how do we, as a business intelligence network, previously known as a recruitment company, now we're more of a business network, how do we really add value, whether it be from data insights, whether it be from industry so the, trends so there's, there's, there's a site? Uh, there's well, a plan, there's well, well, there's a plan, hire, develop narrative within LinkedIn. So okay. it's, a, it's, a, it's something that we're providing a lot of users um, and companies as well. So it's effectively a couple of stages, right? We're not looking at just hiring. We're yeah. looking at, you know, that's for example, you want to you enhance business growth overseas. Yeah. How can LinkedIn help you adopt to that change? Oh, okay. You know, so we look at, you know, real time trends, um, employment trends, industry trends, skills. So it's more of a consulting arm, is it? Yeah, it's a, it's, yeah, it's like a reporting arm. It's a yeah, reporting arm where you can kind of extract data yourself and you make comp more comprehended. So it's so um, a self-service self -service, dashboard yeah. type correct, thing. Correct, yeah. That's it's, cool. It's, it's, out. Cool. it's, it's out. out, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty sweet. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Um, and then, yeah, and then, and then it kind of flows into um, developing an employee engagement, uh, which is something that I think when I speak to clients now is highly, um, it's, it's, it's of high importance to them because hiring people is one thing, but you yeah. want to make sure they're good. Does it clients. help with the kind of diversity, you know, thing that's going on at the moment with employee? Yeah, that's a great point. Engagement yeah, for and, sure. You know, the mix of people. Yeah, for sure. Because like the more the more information you have about the outside world and how how the DNA is for other companies, the better decisions you can make. You know, yeah. if you're a company that values diversity and, yeah. and inclusion and all that stuff, then you know you can kind of remodel what other people are doing that are known for that. Yeah. Um, and again, like LinkedIn can give you access to this kind of information, just so you kind of figure out what the pockets are and what makes these companies tick. How are we doing on time? I think we just passed eight minutes. Oh no! <laughs> One more plug. One personal plug. Favorite book, favorite movie, favorite sports activity. Uh, I'm a big NBA person. Uh, for all the basketball lovers out there, sad to hear if you're a Warriors fan, Sorry to hear about Steph Curry, uh, but this season's looking really good. And I'm sure the NBA fans know what I'm talking about. Very cool. Thank <laughs> you very much. Thanks, That's been guys. the first 852, a nice one, very sweet, off the cuff, no editing.